Hello and welcome to another update video about Link. Link has been in this range for nearly a year. Um, give it another couple of months and we will have been in this range for, yeah, basically a year. The range is between 5.30 and 9.50. I think that's also the range my grid bot is set at. I would need to double check that. But um, yeah, b because we are in a range, there are two possibilities here on the bigger time frame as well. Idea is that off this uh, November high, we could have moved down in a wave one, rallied in a wave two correction, and the next move down could be in a three, a wave three, and eventually that could take us down into the region around 350. That would be the bearish count. Um, I will tell you in a minute what needs to happen for this to become, to be the count in control. A more bullish interpretation would suggest that we have a wave one done, a wave two done, and we're now in a third wave rally. So let's take a look. Eventually what Link needs to do to give us a clear signal, it needs to break above 950. So there's quite a way to go. Um, it should be able to do that in this third wave, but so far it's been very, very stubborn and can't really go up. And it also can't really go down. It's just moving in the range. Now looking at this st structure uh, on the one hour chart, we did indeed rally in what I consider actually a wave one of this um, March low. We then came back into the support area, trend reversal area. We reversed, reached resistance, and in the very short term, Link now needs to break above 754. Uh, it's very choppy. So, yeah, it's not the ideal structure that comes off the low, which means it could be that this is still part of the corrective structure of this wave two. So, the support is still relevant, $6.19. What I cannot rule out is that this year was an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave. You know? um, but this is micro counting. No, don't worry. This is micro counting that can change quite frequently, right? So it is important to understand that as long as the 619 level is holding, um, we can here generally focus on higher. And there are, of course, a few ways how this can unfold. It's messy price action. Um, Maybe we, when we come down again, there's a small support area here that goes down to 663, but a drop below that would take us all the way down to 619, probably. But this is basically a large support area, and against that support area, we can focus on higher. So as you will, as you will notice here, there are two support areas. It just depends on what count is going to play out. Um, this is really just for people who trade really the very short term. Um, these can change quite often. Um, it's just because of the volatile nature of the market. So if we have just this as a wave one, this as a wave two, and then here maybe another one, two setup, this one is relevant all the way down to 663, but in a slightly different count, um, this support area might get relevant. So therefore I'm saying, you know, to keep it simple, as long as we hold above 619, the focus is on higher in the third wave that can take us eventually to that 915 level. And the break below 619 will increase likelihood that we're actually in this bearish count. Okay, that's my update about Link. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.